We need to get her Dramamine because she's extremely motion sick. Challenge car. I'm gonna movie. throw up in Challenge car. Yeah. Yeah. Did you we know literally just got kicked out of Target. We have to go. I I just Can you? Target. You did? Yeah, I'm the employee and now they're asking us to leave. And I'm like, I don't know. I was gonna say something, but I feel like you wouldn't have found it funny, so I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> it was dirty. It was dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh. thanks. We're eating hot and juicy. Are you getting anything? Well, I'm not sure. What did I tell you in the car? I'm sorry. I think you should get the fries because Trey doesn't like seafood okay. and he just always gets the fries and he says they're really good. There's mozzarella sticks, there's oh, yeah, where whatever the hell a corn fritter my is. I've been craving butter chicken for like three weeks, so I decided to try it and some other stuff. I got, I ordered a bunch of food from Star of India. I think it had a 4.9 rating on DoorDash, so yeah. Here it is. Okay. That was scary. Sorry. Should we do like a debagging first? I don't want to call it an unboxing because it's like not a box. Okay, I got. I don't want to pronounce anything wrong, so I'm just going to show you my receipt. <laughs> okay, I have this, which I think is non? Non? I don't think it's nan. I think it's non. Mm, that looks good. Okay, I think that's what this is. There's two, and then we have a bunch of other stuff. Wait, let me just show y'all the stuff. Okay, maybe that's more interesting. So I think that that's the non. Basmati rice, butter chicken, rice pudding, and I got chai, milk and cookies, and roti and condensed milk. So let's just get a look at everything here. I can't even explain how excited I am right now. I've never had butter chicken, and I'm so excited to have it. Whew. Okay, let's see what's in the paper bags. Opening things like a rabbit animal. This is the milk and the cookies. I wanna say this is the chai. Yeah. This is the chai tea. Oh, there's sugar packets. Okay. This is the chai. And they gave me sugar. Pure cane sugar. I think this is the one for the for I think this is the roti because it smells sweeter. I think. I don't know. Okay, I gotta try the butter chicken first. That's really what I ordered for was the butter chicken. I'm gonna fork. I have one of the big forks. I hate using the big forks. So, okay, here's the butter chicken. Ooh. It smells good. Let me put this over here. I just door dashed some, but I don't have any. Let me get a napkin. I can sit in here, when they see me pull up. I don't know, should I eat this with the rice or something? Because the rice was an add on, it wasn't even like it was confirmed part of the meal. I really want to eat this with my fingers because that's how I like to eat, but I'm not going to. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna get a plate. Got my little dog plate. I'm gonna pour some. Let me give y'all a view. I'm gonna pour some of it on here. Wait. Woo! This is hot. I'm glad I'm not eating with my hands though, because if I did, I wouldn't be able to eat for a while because it's super hot. Ooh. I thought I got my nighty in there. Maybe some rice too? Maybe a little bit of rice on the side? Not too much, okay. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it, okay. I've heard so much about butter chicken. That's good. That's really good. The sauce is like, the sauce is kind of sweet. I like it. Mm. That's good. That was really good. I do want to try the other stuff before I get full off of that and I can't figure out if I like anything else because I'm full off that. I think this is the, the roti bread. Yeah, oh no, these smell completely different. This is definitely the roti bread. I think this is the naan. Maybe, maybe I should try this with the butter chicken.
It's dead. I'm like in a yet. Go take a second to breathe. Now let's try the rice pudding. I don't know if it's supposed to be sweet or let me show you. This is what it looks like. Ooh. It's like grits almost. Oh, it's cold. I wasn't expecting it to be cold. Oh, it's big. It tastes kind of like porridge. It's good. It's definitely messing up my flavor palette for eating more, but just I it's because it's so sweet, but this is good. Wasn't expecting that to be cold. Okay. Now, I've already had roti and condensed milk, but not from this place. I know I'm gonna like this because I already like roti and condensed milk, and also I'm just biased because I like condensed milk and I like roti. Mm -hmm. Let's try the chai tea. It's very hot. It's a little bitter, but I'm assuming that's why they gave me sugar, so let me add it. I'm not gonna eat too much because I have a long stream ahead of me tonight. So I wanna be able to grab snackies. So I think I'm gonna eat more of the chicken. Leave everything else for snacks. Stir the sugar up. It's really good. A bit too bitter for me. I think that's probably the only thing I didn't really enjoy. I'm gonna save the cookies and and milk for later, just because that's gonna put me in a dessert mood and I have dinner to eat. But um, overall, 10 out of 10 because I liked everything except for the chai. And that's just the drink. I wouldn't I wouldn't hold my vote over the drink over my whole rating. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Good order again. I finished editing my YouTube video last night. However, I was up until 5 a.m. editing it. So I woke up this morning and rewatched it. Something told me don't trust that video because, girl, you were half asleep. I was literally editing like and I knew not to trust myself, so I watched it in the morning, and oh my gosh, so many typos, audio issues, the video was just a mess. So I start re-editing it immediately, right? Hold on. Right? I finish everything, I upload it. Now it's been checking, it's been checking for at least three hours now? Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's been happening, and then, um, while that's happening, I guess YouTube uploaded the other version after I deleted it. They still uploaded it to the point where everyone else could see it except for me. I actually had no idea the video posted until Nia texted and was like, hey, loved the video. And I'm like, she talking about last week's video? I'm, I'm genuinely like, what is she talking about? She, I don't remember, We somehow we figured out we were talking about this video. I start panicking because I'm like, not the problem isn't the video because the video all the, at worst it just had some typos and stuff the problem is that i couldn't see it i could not see the video i mean i couldn't delete it anything so i asked her to share it to me i can't click the link it's just a mess yeah so now still checking yes yes So yeah, if you wondered why, I guess a few weeks ago this video was so late, this is what I've been going through. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kidding, but yeah. I want to go to the farmer's market because I have I have had no fruits for, I'm not gonna say how long, and I wanted some, but I've been doing this. So yes, another week of empty fridge. Hi guys. I know it's been a little longer than I preferred since the last video diary, but 
Honestly, I started rethinking and overthinking this series in general. I felt like I'm starting to get a little too vulnerable with the internet and while I know that does comfort some people, it honestly, if I'm being honest, puts me at a discomfort. Being vulnerable with the internet is not an easy thing as someone with a platform at all. Hey, stay where I put you. Because people do not like a lot of influencers or creators, so I don't know, I feel like you give them a lot of ammo to be nasty towards you and I just am gonna be honest, I don't think I'm mentally strong enough for that. So I had to just rethink the way I wanted to do this series instead. I think instead of telling my personal business or I guess my really deep dark feelings, I can just talk about stuff candidly that I really wanna talk about. So today I really wanna talk about two things. I wanna talk about how hard it is to make friends as an adult and I guess some tips for people going back to school from someone who's obviously been to school before. So yeah, get your journal because we are still journaling today. Dated. That's another thing. I don't, I have a really big thing with ugly handwriting. I feel really ashamed when my handwriting feels ugly, but I don't focus on that when I journal. Honestly, a lot of my journal is scribble scrabble. And I used to have like an, a really bad compulsivity to fix note taking because I literally couldn't handle when my notes looked ugly. And I mean, I mean, like it was bad, like in school, we would be on the fifth slide and I'm erasing and rewriting the same sentence for the seventh time because I didn't like how I wrote it to the point where I was so behind in school. It actually academically affected me. I'm not really realizing how much until now, but yeah, I actually couldn't take notes because of it. I used to fail tests because of it, because I couldn't move on because I had to rewrite. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty scary. Um, anyway, I don't do that when I journal. When I journal, I want it to be as raw as possible, so sometimes when I'm feeling bad, I'm not worried about making that perfect day. I just I just start scribbling like, like the day's getting away from me. But anyway, so let's start. Let me write down our itinerary. So we're gonna talk about high school and friends as an adult. Let's talk about high school first because it kind of leads into the adult talk. So I do have my lotion here because I feel dry. Um, I will say I had some tips that I would give you as a as a person going into school high school whatever school I'm gonna give you the most generic advice and I'm giving you this generic advice because honestly generic advice sometimes when it comes to school is really the best advice mind you this is coming from a very rebellious teenager that did not listen to a single thing her mother said I was probably as bad as possible it came after that phase of being like aggressively bullied I just felt like I had to like fight back I don't know that's a whole nother thing but yeah I was bad and it came from trying to impress other kids so that I could fit in I was not bad to the bone I was not really like that I wasn't built like that I don't like to fight I don't like confrontation I don't like any of that stuff I do not enjoy it I do not enjoy it it makes me feel like my chest is enclosing it cape it makes me feel caved in I hate that stuff I was pretending to be this bad to the bone girl when I really was not that at heart. Um, I was honestly just really scared and I wanted to fit in so bad with everybody so I did what everyone else was doing, which I believe is what most high schoolers did as well. I don't think I was the only one that was trying to fit in. I think that's just something you do as a young person. You wanna fit in with your peers, especially if you've been excluded and ostracized for a majority of your life. I believe it only makes sense to wanna to fit in. However, you don't need to and it doesn't matter when you graduate at um, all of the things I got bullied for no longer matter the second I graduated. I haven't slept much, thank you. Just all of that stuff doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I know this probably means nothing because it meant nothing to me when people told me this while I was in high school, but just think about it. Just think about it. Just think about it because it really doesn't. I'm telling you from someone who did it, you're there now, but I was already there. I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Um, focus on your studies, man. Because of this, I didn't really care about school that much because no one, it was cool not to care about school. It was cool not to, you know, to not give a F. It was cool at the time, so that's what I did. And I failed so many subjects because of it that I was legitimately good at. Good at history, good at science, okay at math, good at English. And I failed a lot of these subjects from time to time because I wanted to impress my peers. What's well, like failure is impressive. Like be be so serious. I don't know, man. Kids are kids are weird. Um, 
what's another thing oh yeah focus on school and not dating um all i cared about was dating when i was that age because everyone else was dating and i was like a super lonely dweeb that no one had interest in and i did anything i everything to to try to get a boyfriend because that was all that seemed to matter and again not focused on school because my mind was elsewhere it wasn't studying after school because i was on the phone with my boyfriend all the all when i finally got one all hours of the night um never studying never doing anything important because all i cared about was dating when it doesn't matter dating is going to be there forever academics only go so long unless you continue to go to school man really wish i could go back and just smack myself like girl such a smart young girl and i did not protect myself enough to i guess really live out my intelligence because again because i wanted to fit in i didn't experiment ever i was scared of everything i was scared of looking too different and things like that and right now i've been basically drilling into my little sister's mind she's 18 and i've been trying to make her really understand that being herself and being authentic to herself is all that really matters because none of these people that make fun of you make fun of your hair or made fun of your eyebrows today do they don't matter once you move on from high school they don't and i think i did a good job because that girl experiments she does whatever she wants with her hair she dresses however she wants i funny enough i know i say funny enough because i don't think most people admire their younger siblings but i really do admire my younger sibling because i think that she is who i wish i was in high school um I think that she is that way because she really does listen to me and she really does understand that I've done this before. So she really listens when I, I believe she listens when I speak to her. And it seems as though she values my opinion and my thoughts. And when I speak, she seems to listen because that girl does what she wants. Like she does her, she just shaved off her eyebrows. Like that's not something that you could have paid me to do when I was her age because I knew I would get made fun of at school. But with my little sister, she doesn't care if she does because she knows it doesn't matter. Oh, I love that girl. Um, but yeah, just, I would say, have fun with high school, genuine fun, don't worry about dating, make friends, this leads me into my new point. Sorry, I'm talking with so much energy today because I'm honestly trying to distract myself from how frustrated I am with all the other stuff going on right now, how I've been feeling lately, so sometimes the only way I can, hush, the only way I can really do that properly is by talking with a lot of enthusiasm, it's like a weird way that I've taught myself to like fake that I feel better, I don't know, anyway, it doesn't matter, so that leads into my other point of making friends after high school my gosh it's so hard i wish that i took advantage of being in the same space with so many of my peers and people my age in every single day seeing the same faces i really should have taken advantage of that because as an adult now i will say i guess moving around plays a pretty big role in that because i think if the friendship was good enough obviously we would like live near each other whatever who cares you would talk and it doesn't matter Sorry, I'm like falling off my bed. Anyway, I wish that I took advantage of just being around so many people just like me because I'm not really in environments like that anymore. As a creator or an online personality, whatever you consider me, I guess. Um, the only space that I see a lot of my peers in are brand events and those are also all over the place. I'm not, a lot of brand events are not diverse. I know for me personally, I really want to make more black friends, but I don't really get a chance to see a lot of black people where I live. Um, yeah, it's getting really hard to make friends as an adult. I just, I don't know. I don't work a nine to five anymore, so I don't have a space that I see the same people every day. Um, I'm not in school anymore, so I don't have a space that I see the same people every day. I was thinking about maybe joining a class, like a language class or something. That's something I've been teaching myself languages virtually already. So I'm thinking maybe a language class would be smart because I would see the same people, I would assume all the time. I don't know, that's how my friend is making friends right now. He takes acting classes and he's made so many friends from it and it's really, it's inspired me. I also think I'm scared as an adult to make friends. I don't know. I get really scared. I don't know what I'm scared of, but I am scared. I don't know. I don't know, sometimes I, I also don't know how to make friends because I don't go out of my way to or to not befriend any specific type of person. And I mean that as in, I don't try to make friends with influencers, I also don't go out of my way not to. Or just anyone, I don't know, I don't really do that because, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm trying to say. I just, I really will try to just be friends with anyone, but 
I just get scared. I get scared of everything. I get scared of friendship because I've really been hurt by friends in the past also as well. So I just get really scared. Um, I get scared to get close to people. I think everyone does. I don't know. Gotta work on that because I need friends. I need, I think some people are built to be alone. Some people are built to be around consistent. Ah! Consistent people and people all the time. And I am one of them. I need to be around people constantly. I love, I, oh. My gosh, what does that say? <laughs> um, okay, I feel happy today. Oh, I didn't even write today. I feel happy despite today having so many wrongs. Today, my young, my what? <laughs> my YouTube and TikTok weren't working. Normally this would really frustrate me, but I surprisingly have a good handle on my emotions today. I would usually get hyper frustrated at little things like this and legit cry, which is true. But I'm here journaling and smiling, proud of me, heart. I know this probably sounds dramatic, dramatic, but it's true. Honestly, little things going wrong really do get to me to an absurd extent. And I've also really been working on that because I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that things should really get me to the point that they do sometimes. But hey, I'm only human, man. Um, my camera legitimately died in the middle of my sentence. But I was saying I'm only human. I go through emotions just like everybody else. And I also don't have a great handle on my emotions just like everybody else. So yeah, um, honestly, a lot of the times little things really get me there. Yeah, they do. But I'm pretty proud of myself today because it didn't. And stuff like this would really send me over the edge, I think maybe a few months ago or a few weeks ago, honestly. So proud of me. Um, next week, I wanna talk about not needing to constantly explain your actions. Yeah, obviously, unless the action needs to be explained. But I really wanna talk about that because I have that bat. But I'll see you guys next video diary. Bye. Waiting for Trey. Y'all know how long that can be. Man. About to be here for another hour. Baby, hold me, cause I like the way it grows. Oh, someone watched me do that. Me doing everything down here to not have to look up. Hmm, yeah, let's even look in the back seat. Mm, nothing back there to pretend. Like I'm looking at, yes. Oh come on, Birkenstock! Yes, slay, slay the boots down, the Birkenstocks. Yeah, slay the boots down, the Birkenstocks. Look, what is that? What kind of car is that? The Mercedes? The uh, what kind of car is this? The um, I don't know what that is. Let's let's just call it a Tesla. Um, and then we got the that. I mean the Porsche. <clears throat> and hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Shallon, Shallon, please. Of the sweetest pie? Of the sweetest pie. Of the sweetest pie? That's not a sweet pie. Oh. It's a little tart. What <laughs> to do? Go ahead. Excuse me? Go ahead. Okay. Give us a little outfit of the what to do. Okay. I'm wearing Name Collective. I love this brand. I'm, this is the brand I was telling you about. It's cute. That makes all the matching sets. I like it. I love it. Look at the, look at the zipper. It's a lady. And then I'm wearing Jesus sandals because I, I'm sorry, but these are the best shoes ever. Go ahead, hit a little tune. A what? A little tune. A, ah, you know, angel. Like, ah. Yeah, I'm getting there. Melodies from heaven what? rain down on me. Rain down on me. Where are you going? Not by you. Where are you going? <laughs> no, come back. Nothing. Come back. No, I think I'm actually gonna stay far away from you. And do you know where the restaurant is? My mom's, no. Uh, yeah. I, I can read, I'm an adult, <laughs> I can figure it out. Go ahead. I need a man to direct me. Are you crazy? Misogyny will never win around me. Um, one. Okay. Look at this wall. No. Is it a light? It is a light. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, yes, it's it like is. a picture, but like with the light chunk. 
I made this. You did? Yeah. And what's it called? None of your damn business. No, that's right. Mom is so pretty. Oh my god. Fuck. It's come on, you're used to the sun. Oh my god. Be 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 quiet. Dang! We've never been here. This is like us when we go to Universal. We've only been to Universal. Like no, Not Universal during the day is literally a jump scare. It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Didn't you he went to see Nope by himself? Yeah. And said it was apparently like the environment was horrible because there were so many people. Yeah. Hello? It doesn't see us? We're here. Look, oh wait. Get Hello? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I was like, where did you go? So it is. What's happening? It's 40. It was, we waited 40 to an hour. I'm sorry. 40 to an hour. It's not as bad as we waited before. I can't control it. No, it's okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Uh, we can probably walk around or something. Yeah, we'll text you. Can I get a phone number? Wait, what? Oh, maybe from the walk? Which, which fried yeah, rice? Chicken fried rice. Chicken? Yeah. I'll get a shrimp. Okay, see. Actually, wait, let me see what I want first. So, cucumber salad, that's definitely something people try all the time when they come here. You wanna try it? I don't remember if I did, but we can try it. I really like cucumber salad. I think I would probably like it. We'll do the cucumber salad, um, the baby bag ribs, but I don't eat pork, so I'm gonna skip that. Yeah. Um, what's this? I don't know what that is. Dumplings, do you wanna try dumplings? I think I had the dumplings last time. I don't know. Oh! No, you had bao, I think. I think, yes. You can go ahead and take the guys here. Thanks. How are you guys doing today? Good. Good, how are you? Doing good, thank you. Thank you so much for waiting. I know it's like it's a long wait for us. Like, oh, no worries. Okay, what else are we doing? Okay, um, people get the green beans, but I remember not liking those last time, but I don't know if you want to try them. Uh, that was just me. I didn't like them personally. I don't want to try No? Yeah. There's wontons. You want to try wontons? Sure. Yeah. Let's see. There's wonton soup. There's chicken wontons. Actually, none of these sound like something I see. Oh, I'll flip it up. Um, noodles. Oh, maybe we should try some noodles. Oh, noodles. Billy got something last time, and it was so good. I think it was spicy, funny enough. And you know I don't like spicy stuff, but it was kind of good. I don't know, man. OK, I'm going to also get a shrimp fried rice for sure. There's chicken fried noodles. Chicken fried noodles, Do you wanna try that? Yeah. Let's try the chicken fried noodles. This little ass table and all the food I know, I, I, was, I was just thinking that. <laughs> um, oh, the red bean? Oh, the sticky yeah. rice wrap, so two? Yeah. Yes! I don't know what a taro bun is. Chocolate buns, I wasn't a fan. Do you like I don't think I liked them either when, when we they, brought them to Folokes house. They're okay, they're good, but not enough to get a good. I wasn't a fan of them. I like chocolate, so I think maybe I'll try this, but it was just okay. Um, beverages, milk tea. I think a lot of people get the, the green tea, but I didn't like it last time. I'll try the lychee green tea. Hi, everyone. How are we? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> like I'm not hungry. <laughs> okay, go ahead, try it. Right. Don't you worry. Don't, don't you worry. I'm actually very don't you worried. Don't you worry. Don't, don't you worry, don't you worry. Just like that, I'm gonna stick it. Oh, yes! Good? Very good, very fresh. I feel like you're coming over. Ooh. I do like it, it's very fresh. I give it um, I give it an eight. I had to say seven. Yeah, I have low expectations for it. This will be like good after the movie. Cleanse your palate. My food looks delicious. Yours looks so good. Yummers, <laughs> but like what? I think this is literally vinegar and soy sauce, and I like neither of those things. So. <laughs> mm. This is good and soy sauce. It's very shocking. What does it taste like? Tarty, but in a good way. Mm. Mmm. Mmm. I give it a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. So I did um, pop the dumpling and all the juice went in my, in my mouth. Oh, it burned? A little bit. Hey. Um. Alexa, what day is it? I never know what day it is. Alexa, what day is it, please, sweetie pumpkin sugar butt? Love bug? Hmm, I'm not sure. 
My fridge is open. Girl. Okay, anyways, I'll just put y'all in here. Um, oh, we need to be in the kitchen anyway. I wanna try this yogurt thing, so hold on. Um, just finished violently crying over this video. I just finished crying over that. Something insane. Like, tears were running down my face. Daray calls me to just, I think, just to talk. And then he's like, I actually could not stop crying. Um, I'm not gonna talk about why that video makes me so emotional, but man, <laughs> damn. <laughs> um, so let's change the subject actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's this camera I got from Amazon cause Kara has it and I loved hers, how she had it, but it's like broken and it doesn't always, the lens always comes out messed up sometimes like that. See, it's not all the way out. And see, now it's not closed all the way. Hold on. This isn't even vintage, so I'm like, did you scare me? <laughs> Look, let's take a picture. Ready? The sadness that is me. <laughs> Let me see. Nice. Yes, Hi. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. I'm starving, and my hand, can you see how much my hand is? <laughs> Let's eat. Okay. <sighs> now it's laundry day, so the laundry's gonna be a bit loud in it. I'm out to stream, so I'm checking. Okay, I have four hours on my life. Okay, we're gonna make my favorite breakfast of all. Grits! Women in tech, let's figure this out right now. I also don't have time to do this because it's 424 and I stream at five. And I'm not ready, but women in tech, man. Yeah. Okay. Dishwasher. Okay. I heard something. But I'm like, shouldn't that stay flipped? So actually, let's put it back. Let's see if that did anything. I'm nervous. Okay. Still no lights. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it back then. I'm gonna flip it back. <laughs> Literally don't have time for this. I hate, I hate leasing people coming in my apartment because I have a germophobia and I just don't like people in my space. So I will do anything to fix stuff myself. Damn it. Still nothing. Well, looks like I have to call the leasing folks. Damn it. Damn it. We literally did it. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, black women in tech, okay? I'm actually so fascinated that I just fixed this. Okay, let's start the load. Sanitize. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Let's make my breakfast. Let me give y'all a view. I'm gonna put me grits in the bowl. My hands are not cute, let's back up. You could back up a little bit. My two milks, and yes I do use two different milks, and yes, I am running out of time. Little bit of almond milk, and then a little bit of oat milk, but more oat milk than the almond milk. And now it's extra loud because of the dishwasher. This is crazy. And I'm gonna grab me a spoon and stir it up so that when it's in the microwave, it doesn't clump up. There we go. Put this in the sink till I'm ready to eat. Then we're gonna put, then we're gonna put us some sugar. Yeah, I put quite a bit. Um, yeah. Then I'm gonna stir her up. And this is what I eat almost every morning for breakfast now, because I'm too lazy to make that egg and turkey dog meal I was making. So until I find the energy to make that again, this has been breakfast every single day. 
And I'm sorry, but it's been slang. It's simple, easy, quick, and cute, okay? And it tastes good. You want some? That's okay, I'll keep it. Mm -hmm. Needs a little more sugar. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's gonna hit the spot. <laughs> and even though I know I shouldn't, I'm absolutely gonna eat it in my room because I don't have it in me to eat it out here. Thank you. Ah! Let's go. Okay, so now I got my water. I got my water, my stream water. Cause I'll be in here parched. And my string light. Okay, let me show you guys how I do this. This little light, man. Like what? This tiny light. This tiny thing. I think I'm actually all ready. Now I just have to, I just have to finish setting up my sim stuff and I should be good to stream. Let's get ready because stream starts in 30 minutes. Stream starts in 30. I also have to edit, so. I need to be practical with my time. I need to be responsible for my time today. This is your sign to stop depression eating in your room. Go eat in the damn living room. Go eat in that damn living room. It's there for a reason. Go eat in that damn dining room. It's there for a reason, okay? Am I gonna follow my own advice? I don't know.